The new Craft Tool Pro Hand Press is the most versatile of any ever previously offered. It can be used to accomplish many chores, such as setting snaps, rivets, and also for imprinting 3D and alphabet stamps. For best results, the press should be attached to a sturdy workbench. Position the press and mark through the holes with an awl. Next, drill holes for the fastener you're going to use. In our case, we're going to use some lag bolts. Now, attach the lag bolts through the base into the bench. Next, attach the handle as shown in the instruction sheet that accompanies this press. Insert the bolt and tighten it thoroughly with the Allen wrench that's provided. Your machine is now ready to use. Setting rapid rivets is easy. Just select the proper die available separately, screw it into place with both the male and the female parts, With the hole punched through the leather you're going to put the rivet in, push the post through from the back to the front. Turn it over, set the cap in place, place over the proper die, and cycle the handle, and it will set your rivet perfectly every time. Some adjustment may be needed before you do your final job. Setting the line 20 and 24 snaps is very easy as well. For the female part, set the cap through the leather as shown, put the receiver in place, and cycle the machine. There are two sets of dies for snaps, one for the female and one for the male. After you've set the one part, change the dies, We will now put in the dies for the male part. Set the post in place as you can see. Push it through the leather. Set the stud in place and cycle the machine. And that's all there is to do to set the line 20 snaps. Setting the Sigma style snaps is much the same. Select the proper dies that are available separately. Set the parts in place as you can see. Put them over the anvil, cycle the machine, and it will crimp the male part in place. For the female part, we'll change the dies, just as we did for the line 20s, getting the proper parts for the female half. Set the parts in place, the receiver goes through the leather, cap goes in the die as you can see, cycle the machine, and these parts are crimped together very easily. This machine is also great for doing the 3D stamps and alphabet stamps. First thing to do, of course, is dampen the leather. Now, install the plate that's used for doing alphabets and 3D stamps. Once the plate is in place, we can insert a stamp and use the adapter that's available separately for either an alphabet stamp or a 3D stamp. 
For a 3D stamp, we'll use the one that you can see. Put it in the 3D stamp and snap it into place in the chuck as you can see. Once it's in place, tighten the screw to make sure that it stays where it needs to be. Now, you may have to adjust the machine some. Try it first and see what your impression is like. This impression looks good, so we could make it a little deeper if we would like. Now, another feature of this machine, you can adjust this plate if you're doing like a belt for the distance from the edge. Once you have it in place, tighten the screw and once again make your impression. Alphabet stamps can be used much the same way. First thing to do is select the proper chuck. Put it into place and fasten it just like you did the one for the 3D stamps. Once it's in place, tighten it and you can still move it around to get it going in the proper direction. As we did before, Drop it down and see if your impression is deep enough. Now, I think we can make this one a little bit deeper. So we'll move the chuck until we get the proper depth. This is always done on scrap leather so that when you go on to your project, you will make it perfect every time. And now, as you can see, we have a much better impression. Next, I'm going to put a name. First, I put J. Now, I will change it to the next letter. It's just a matter of removing it, putting another one in, and setting it at the proper place. Now, if you want, you can put the other one back in because the alphabets are self-spacing. We can now imprint the next letter. Now, we can do the same thing with the next letter. Put the O back in place. We'll get the E, which will be the final letter. We'll snap that into place. Rotate it until we are sure it's in a perfect position. Bring it down right next to the O and make your impression. And as you can see, we have perfect results every time. 